So hi everybody and welcome back to C++ tutorials for absolute beginners. This is video 247 and in this video we want to talk about the constructor uh, with inheritance. For this purpose we go here to this example but we will not talk about the virtual constructor uh, with inheritance. And the reason for that is it's a little bit more uh, not difficult but we have to talk about this uh, special rules here and therefore we have to understand first the normal inheritance with constructor and let's get started to start with that i show you again a diagram and you can see i have here uh, squares but the squares represent just classes and the top square is here just the parent class or the base class and then the second one is the inherited class all right, we start here with this one and you can see when I want to create now with this class here with the inherited one, an object, I want to create here an object. What happens with the constructor? Very simple. The constructor, uh, I mean, sorry, the compiler goes here to this class. It checks the constructor and it tries to create, but the compiler checks also if this class is inherited. And if it's inherited, the compiler says, wait, I can't construct you because uh, all your data are not in this class because you are inherited. And we learned inheritance means extension. Extension means uh, you have extended um, data which are not here all. So we know in inheritance, the parent class contains data and uh, the co compiler says then okay because you have not all your data in this class i have to go to your parent class so which means the compiler stops here it's not constructing your class because it says uh, missing uh, information so the compiler goes up to your parent class or base class and then the compiler checks again this constructor and checks again if this one is inherited and in this case, it says, so this class is not inherited, which means it is complete. And then the compiler says, okay, I can construct you. I have all your information, which means the compiler says, okay, we construct you first. Then the compiler goes, okay, now I can go back to the uh, child class or derivative class. And now I can construct you as well after I constructed your parent class because now I have all the information and then it constructs your class. So what we learn here is that when we construct uh, a class which is derived, which means uh, used inheritance, it will be not constructed first. It will be all time constructed his parents first because data is missing, right? All right, this is the first rule. And we can see this actually here. Let me show you a fast example. So you can see I have here the class house is my base. It has no inheritance. Here is no inheritance. And here's my class hotel. And you can see I have here inheritance. And uh, here's the constructor. It says called from the uh, hotel constructor just so that we can see what is constructed. And here called from the house constructor. And when I call this one here, I call this one here, uh, comment this one, not here. Let's comment this one here. The second one is this, uh, uncomment. So here I create a hotel object. So you can see this one I want to create. This is exactly this example here. Base is my house. Hotel is this one. I want to create this hotel here, but this one here will be not created first. And we can see this now. Wait, well, let me make this a little bit little. So we can see this now when I start here. And yes, first it was called the house constructor. So here you can see I created just one object, which is the hotel here, this one. But it calls first the house one and then it creates the hotel one. Exactly that what I showed you here. And the nice thing is about the other example, which you see here on the right side, the same goes for uh, if you have a chain of inheritance. So let's say again, I want to create just the last one here in my example. You can see I have here also a chain. I have here many ones. And the worker, no, the hotel worker here 
is inheriting from hotel again and the hotel example we just saw is inheriting from house and the house is inheriting from nothing because it's our base but what is the difference now here the difference is only that this the last one the, 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 the which uh, the last object the derivative one which we want create checks all time again his parent again like here so the compiler goes here says wait a minute you have you are a derivative class i have to construct your parent class first and then the compiler goes one up important note here is the compiler goes only to his parent not to this one here or to this one because this one here is not his parent right because i derived this class here the last one derived from this one after the compiler goes up to this one and checks this class and says okay you are a derivative class too so i can't construct you i have to go to your parent because your data is not all it's not here in and here the same they say wait a minute you are derivative as well you have not all your data in it so i have to go one up and then he reached again the base and checks okay you are again no inherited okay i have all the data which i need I can create you. This is the first one. And then the same thing here. He goes back, creates this one, can now go back, creates this one, and creates back and create this one. And you can see when we have a chain, it goes up to the point again where he get all the data and creates in reverse order. What I mean with reverse order, we want to create this one, but he has to go up and then creates this and then creates this derivative first and this derivative first and our class the last one. Why is this important to know? Again, when we are creating an object, let's make this one with this one and this time you can see, I don't know, let's make this one. And you can this time see this hotel worker and shift. Let's make here um, a current comment. The hotel worker here, again, I, I inherit from hotel Hotel inherits from this, so we have a chain again, this time only three, that's okay. And when I print this out, you can see what happens. First, it creates the base again. So again, like in my example, it creates first the last one, which is the base, because this there has no inheritance. Then it creates the hotel one. This would be here, the this one here in my case. And then it creates our our hotel worker here in this case, which we wanted to create the last one. So that's very nice. And there is one thing more thing which we have to learn. What happens if we have multiple inheritance? Because let's say I have here, let's say at this point, multiple inheritance, which means the last class here is not inheriting like a chain, but uh, I mean, it is inheriting like that chain, but let's say I inherit from this one too, and multiple inheritance. Here I have again a last example, my worker, and he has here this family house inheritance, the hotel inheritance. What happens here? So my, you can see I inherit from this one and this one. Important note here is uh, this works again the same. It is all time the same base. It goes. Uh, the compiler goes up, up, up. The difference here is we have to check two conditions now. First of all, the order is important. So it says this one, the last one here, my class worker, it starts with family house. I inherit from family house. And then it says I inherit from hotel. Why it is important to uh, the order? Because the compiler will say, okay, again, I go up, all right, I go up, and the first one, let's say the family house is this one here, it will be then checking this one first, and then from family house, it goes up here, and it is creating this one. And then it goes back to this one here, it's creating this one, and then it goes not back here. So what we have here, it is not going back and creates your one because we have here one more. Then 
it goes to the next it jumps from here to this part so from here after creating this one here it goes here and here important thing we learned this in inheritance it is going up again it says oh you are a hotel i have to go up again because you are not complete i have to create again here house so i have to create this one again i already created here but we know i have to create this again and then from here it goes down to this one here and creates the other one so that's very important that we see this step so it would create now this one here and then yours and then finish so important is here with multiple inheritance what you have to know is just that the order is important all stays same almost but uh, here at this point where we have this family house it will create it up goes back and creates again the base <laughs> it sounds this picture here is more complicated than it is it is actually very simple let's uh, let's watch my example here in coding so let me show you this one car uncomment and important is that you um, that you do this example on your two uh, self too because understanding like I all times say it's very easy but to know it you have to work and train it so here's my worker so my class worker I want to create the last one here let's start what happens and let's see if I'm right so yeah it looks strange so again we start here with which one with the top one right and I, st I said it's very important the order uh, of the multiple inheritance for example the class worker family house so family house will come first and when we check now this one here it starts from house the uh, house constructor so we have this one here it's all time house constructor we noticed the last one but what is the second one family house or hotel and that's very important I said order matters here family house is constructed this one here so and when we see here family house constructor is called right this is exactly let's make this one here a little bit uh, so and see here so this is exactly this part here so it constructed this one first and then this one and then here we see uh, what comes next mm, so what comes next is then it goes uh, from house construct you can see after this one here here it goes here it can't construct this one because hotel has also is delivered so it goes back to the house you can see house is here two times constructed house and then it goes back to hotel here hotel and then from hotel it goes to in my case to work because there is nothing no chain so and then it creates this one here so you can see this one you have keep in mind this little uh, multiple inheritance order you have to train this because it creates a two time the base and this can cause problems when we are not careful right creates two time the base and then how they work uh, together so the concept is very easy to understand it co creates all time the the parent class first it must create them because we are missing data but later when we are initializing anything then this kind of stuff can enter so can yeah it has a relationship it can change the other value and then we have to be careful there a little bit but understanding this concept i think it's not too difficult um and you have to train this a little bit right and when we go back to this example you can see this one here this one is the same without virtual if you would make this without this word virtual it's exactly the same and they have also here this multiple inheritance x y uh, you can try to understand this example and so, so on important is here in the next video we will talk about uh, constructor calls 
before we go to virtual because we have to understand also the calling of constructors when we change parent data. So we will still not talk about virtual like I said. This one we will talk later when we talk also about the special rules. All right, with that said, I hope you understand all things so far. If not, no problem, just train it a little bit. And yeah, if you have any questions, write in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye, good luck and like all time, have fun.